Hi, hey, Ryan Rampton here again. So I want to talk to you today about why we came to this earth. These are things that I learned in heaven. So number one, why did we come here? What is our purpose? Did we come here to be tested and tried and try to prove how righteous we are to God? Keep a list of commandments or things like this. Is that why we came here? No, that is not why we came here. We came here for one thing, and that was to learn about ourselves. That's it. We came to find out who you are and how you respond to different things. So, for example, one of the main things we came here was to learn joy. We didn't know what joy was before. When we were up in heaven, we knew one thing. We knew love. That's what God was. And we learned different concepts and we learned how to do different things. But we didn't know joy and we wanted to know joy. God told us. The only way to know joy is to know sorrow. So we had to come down to this physical realm that he made so that we could learn about sorrow so that we can have joy. So we're not down here to prove anything to God. We're not down here to earn his love. We're not down here to do certain things to make ourselves righteous in his eyes. All those things are great, all those things are awesome, but that's not why we came down here. We came down to experience opposition. We came down here to feel the opposite. For example, we would never know what a great um, health felt like if you'd never been sick. You would never know how wonderful a day in Hawaii would be if you didn't live in a winter environment and you go to Hawaii in the middle of winter and you're going, yeah, this is awesome. And the guy on the beach that's local is like, what's the big deal, man? It's this way every day. So it's the opposition that defines us. It's the space between things that creates form. All of these things need each other. We need opposition to even know who we are. So for example, when the Lord showed me my spirit before I came to this earth, I saw this amazing, glorious just breathtakingly beautiful, amazing warrior. And just the, the armament and the clothing and the raiment that I had on was so amazing. And I just was breathtaking to behold. So I come down here and I end up being in this little sick, weak body that spends the first seven years of its life in an oxygen tent, clinging on to life. I was skinny and scrawny up till even when I got married, my wife actually weighed more than I did. She was 118 pounds and I was 115 pounds. So I learned what it was like to be weak. I learned what it was like to have shame. I was learned what it was like to have all these things, this opposition that made me into who I am today. Even the mistakes I've made, even all the bad things I've done in my life, all the sins, all the terrible things, they helped form me into who I am today.